What's up guys? Welcome to the very first Blackbuster commentary. This commentary is going to be on a Sonic Faggotry video done by Guptill89. Now I'm doing this for number one because this, this Sonic Fag is trying to hide what he's done. And number two, it proves that he's a pedophile. Number three, he's just a low life Sonic Fag. That's basically it. And he tried to delete comments. He tried to say, I, I did this for fun. But and now what he's done is that he's deleted the video from his channel. But the worst thing that he's done, okay, is that when I uploaded to my Blackbuster Archives account, he put a claim on it. Like a crybaby. Taking videos down like a little wimp crybaby Sonic fag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload this to my main channel as a commentary to where if he takes it down, he's taking down my work. Okay, this is under fair use. It's under section 107 of the copyright law. Fair use is when you use it for research, comment, commentary, uh, what's what else? Uh, critique, all that kind of stuff. Guptail, you touch this video, I'm gonna come after you, boy. Now let's go ahead and start this commentary. Sonic the Hedgehog, one of the greatest and most attractive characters ever thought up. Definitely not the greatest and definitely not the most attractive character ever thought of. And, knows how to handle and by attractive, I think he means like females, cool looking, at least the Sonic. The Sonic might also be classified as hot chick heaven. What? There's such a hot chick heaven? Sonic? That it'll make you love the franchise oh, he means more. the human females. Since okay. Valentine's Day is around the corner, I've been inspired to make a top ten list. He, he had me worried for a second Sonic there. At first, I thought he was going to be talking about like, and a glass of orange juice like you know, the furry characters like Amy. Here we go. Oh, what a fag! Ten. Try this question on for size. Who chases and hugs Sonic all the time and wields a powerful Wait. hammer? Why, it's Amy Rose. Of he does meet Amy. Oh my God! The fact that she's still attractive. He put Amy Rose, a furry pink hedgehog, in a top ten hot list. See, he had his trick. Had his trick with that human so, female in the beginning. And does he realize Amy is 13 years old? So not only is he a Sonic bag, a fur bag, but he's a pedophile as well. Cosmo from Sonic hey, this Cosmo she chick, the she's a plant, a plant person. Under attack by a you got a fur fag, Sonic fag, plant fag now. Pedophile, because she's like eight years old too. The real reason she lands at the number nine spot is that oh she becomes Miles Tails Prower's sweetheart. Prower. Something Tails needed for a long while. Oh yeah, the Umero eight year old Ocho. character Kringle needed a love interest. Vanilla. She's attractive and is the size of an average human mother. What really surprised me I don't me see how she's attractive. She looks like cream except taller. An average human mother? Kind of he said that's her size? Like She's, She's as tall as the kid in the movie, anime. In a season three How episode, big is your X, mother? She helps Chris Thorndike get into space to fight See, look, it's in your own video. How is that the size of an average human mother? What number's next? Seven, of course. Wave the swallow from Sonic Riders. Oh, you gotta be kidding People me. People always root for the good guys, but sometimes the bad guys steal I, the I, show. I guess at least, you know, if there's something positive out of this, she at least she's 18 years old. The Babylon Rose. I wonder why she isn't the leader. Like Jet the Hawk and Storm the Albatross, her Terrible specialty character. is riding the airboards called This is probably some of the worst characters in the whole Sonic franchise. With two very long and smooth feathers extending from her head to her calves and droopy eyes, Wave will rock your socks. Oh god. If only god. you could see her take wing. <laughs> oh my and the god. Whole cease to call the Echidna from Sonic Adventure 1. Named after an ancient Mayan city of the to same call name, Takal is, is the daughter 14 of Chief Takamak. She's yet another character that hardly does a thing, He's except still her being a pedophile. To stop being so greedy. She also traps herself inside the Master Emerald so that the Water God Chaos doesn't rain terror upon the land. When you're the I daughter of a person the in the highest adventure. power, you need to look your best, and Takal delivers perfectly. That's why she's number six. You can recolor Knuckles to number look like one, her. Two, That's three, what's wrong four, with a lot of these Sonic characters. They look all alike. They all have the same like wire frame that they're made from. from the Sonic Archie comics. How could you go wrong with a girl who looks like this? Look at her eyes! Two pupils, one eye! Freedom fighter to being a pop star singer. 
next to Princess Sally, she looks more humanoid than the other characters. And he's worried about them looking humanoid. He says the more attractive they are, is the more four, humanoid they are. The cat. One word, pyrokinesis. How would you like to have that superpower? I mean, Blaze could play around in the Himalayas for hours and she would be perfectly fine. Yeah! Also, her 45 degree ponytail makes her Using like fire makes her attractive! I really love the fact that her love interest is the telekinetic hedgehog Silver. Now, we all know that his love interest is King Master of You, Aubrey Taylor. Couple. We already know that. Really you got that wrong, man. Number four spot is that her attitude is apparently more different from the other females. Okay. Next up is number no, the three. the way he's talking about these characters is the way I talk about women in general. Like, their quills. looks, their hair, their personality. Quills and hair. What is that Ooh, thing? Echidna, another Archie comic exclusive, has that feature. She's smart, <laughs> knows exactly what to do as a freedom Oh, player, my God. even trained Amy once. She's also the girl of Knuckles' dreams. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Knuckles. M. Have fun Her with that. Her in the series, Mobius, X years later, is just downright hot. Just look at that long Now listen to the way he's saying this. Talking. Downright hot. One, two, does that one, sound two. like somebody who's doing Princess this for fun? Sally or does that sound like somebody who's actually attracted to these characters? You be the judge. Who analyzes these characters this much as if they're talking about real people and why they're attractive. And is like a mother to tails. In the TV show Sonic Sat AM, one freedom fighter, the cowardly Antoine, constantly tries to woo Sally but doesn't succeed because he's a coward. The princess is fingers. also a semi-perfect example of an excellent love interest, although there were a couple of times when she really snapped and acted like a lunatic. Oh, In the comics, God. that is. Oh, okay, overall, that makes sense. In Sally the comics. Really he, he reads the comics, he watches the, females, the anime. Not because she's Sonic's first official love interest, or because she's the only one who didn't wear clothes. But you Sonic fags comics, know that you guys like Sonic just because she's mostly and married nude. Sonic in the future, becoming the queen. Remember, so, this video was done just for fun. Cat, There's nothing sexual about a it. Swallow, two gorgeous echidnas, and even a princess. He just said it. We've seen a cat well, get ready to a kidnas, is a swallow. He's, Sonic he named the animals. Character. He named animals. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah, nice shot there on the tits, man. Rouge the bat. Oh, God. If anybody denies it, how dare you? The this skankiest, woman ugliest looking thing I've ever seen. And is and a femme fatale seducing other characters into on. getting what she wants. Instead of having one love interest, she has two. Whoa! And Shadow the Hedgehog. Being a treasure thief, she's only interested in one object set. Jewels, especially the Chaos Emeralds. They're actually... Yeah, take a bowl of bath with my gloves on. And a jewel. Yeah. Eventually got censored. What a price to pay. Oh yeah, I know I you'd pay nice cash, Mr. Guptill89, to see those characters. bat tits. And who wouldn't want to you want to milk them for some bat milk, be don't you? Sean Johnson and flirt with any male, anytime, anywhere. These three traits make Rouge the Bat triumph over Those three Sonic traits don't make any females. sense. She can Why fly, you, she's as strong as a gymnast, and she's a femme fatale. That was pretty there lame. There you have it, folks. Those were the hottest female chicks in the Sonic universe. Oh, God. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy no. Happy Valentine's Day, and no. I'll see you later. You had no Here Valentine, which is why you made this video. <laughs> and then the, the faggot runs off into the sunset. And then he dares use Rick's music for his video. Man. So... Mr. Gupta89, you can't touch this video, okay? You can't touch it. It's under fair use, commentary, comments, review, critique. Don't be a fag. Don't touch my video. And now Michael Dragon89. I mean, I said it all wrong. I mean, Michael Dragon, how the hell? You said that he does not want to have sex with these characters. You watch this video again and you tell me otherwise. The only reason why you defend him is because you're a fag yourself and you're attracted to these characters as well and you want to have sex with them. Sonic Fags defend Sonic Fags. End the story. Good night.